uh, wherein uh, it has been informed to me not to enter the Thane Commissionate area. And uh, I'm really uh, surprised and uh, to see the notice, uh, notice and the order which has been served to me, which I will uh, read out to you. It is also learned that you will be, you will attend public gathering and also deliver speech. But to my real program to Mumra, there is no public uh, addressing or any public speech or delivery of public speech is there. But it is only, I am attending uh, Mumra for an iftar party where I will be breaking my fast and then I uh, will uh, meet some people and I will uh, return back. But it, it is only they are uh, assuming and I would say it's a false assumption that they are having that okay, I will be addressing any public meeting over there. And also they have mentioned that in past of uh, my provocative speeches, law and order problem has been uh, created between Hindus and Muslim communities. And they are mentioning about some cases and which say that uh, Mangalhar Police Station, Hyderabad. I don't know where is this Mangalhar. Right. And one, uh, one more they are saying Ardhapur Police Station, Hyderabad. There is, there is no Ardhapur in Hyderabad as per my knowledge. And I don't know if you all also have any knowledge of Ardhapur. Ardhapur is there in Maharashtra. Maharashtra, but they have written here. So, I am really uh, surprised. Ke you can see how the police functions and how they work. They just issue notices. And if, uh, as a citizen of this country, I think uh, I, ha I hold the right to move freely in any part of uh, India. And I cannot be stopped from moving freely. If I am addressing any public uh, meeting or public gathering, there is a rules frame for that where we are supposed to apply for a permission and get a permission from the police. And no such permission has been seeked by my party people or the people who have invited me there. So there is no question of me addressing any public meeting over there. I am just going there to break fast and just to meet people. So I cannot be stopped. I hold this fundamental right under the constitution of India where I have the right to speech and also I have the right to have a free movement in any part of this country. But it is very sad so I can imagine uh, a public representative who has been elected to the legislative assembly for four times is being denied to move in this country. So I could imagine the state of the Mumra Muslims over there under this Congress uh, government which is there in Maharashtra. So we, uh, we, we have a, uh, a strong objection to this and for this I have uh, given a written uh, reply to the police commissioner, the copy I will uh, give it to you in which uh, I have mentioned the same thing that as a citizen of this country I hold uh, the right to move uh, freely in any part of the country and uh, nobody can stop me from moving freely. Yes, if, if there is any political uh, gathering, I am going to seek for a permission then the permission can be denied. And I am going to challenge this order in, uh, in the court and, uh, and I, I have a, a strong belief that uh, I will get justice on the court and I will get an order from the court where uh, I will be allowed to visit and for sure I am going to visit and uh, let me make it very clear to everybody who is uh, listening that uh, such uh, things cannot stop me from reaching out to my people, to my brothers. I am going to reach out to them, I am going to meet them and I am going to fight for them and I am also going to fight against all this communal forces and communal minded people who are trying to stop me from reaching to my brothers and my sisters who have been denied their rightful right 
and I am going to fight for justice for them, for their right. And uh, MIM will not be curtailed down with such uh, orders or such notices. MIM will fight this orders judicially and uh, democratically and we are going to see that okay, we reach out to the people and not only Mumra, Maharashtra but elsewhere Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Bengal, Madhya Pradesh and also Gujarat. We will be reaching out to our brothers, to my Muslim brothers and Muslim sisters. I am going to reach out, I am going to go, I am going to meet I am going to be with them and I am going to see that we also struggle with them, fight in a constitutional way to get the rightful share of the Muslim communities in this country. The, uh, the government is scared of MIM. They know that if we reach out, the people will join us, the people will come with us and uh, MIM will emerge as a, uh, a, a very strong political force in Maharashtra, that is why they are scared and they want to stop us. And in a, in, a, in a democratic process, you cannot stop any political party from reaching out to the people. This is uh, this is not right and this is absolutely wrong, I would say. And uh, in fact, I would say that okay, this is uh, unjustified. And, uh, and, and it is like uh, you are stopping the voice of the minorities in this country, which is not, which is not right and I am sure I will get justice on the court. So do you accept that kind of notice which are given by the Mumra? The notice has been served to me and as a, <coughs> as an, a, a citizen uh, and a lawmaker of the state uh, legislative assembly, I think it's my responsibility to receive, uh, receive the notice. I have received it, I have signed it and I have also given my uh, uh, reply to the, uh, to the order which has been served to me and in fact I have, uh, I have also spoken to my, my, uh, my legal team which would, uh, which would uh, challenge this uh, notice in the court and I am hopeful that we will get an order from it. Why? Challenging in Maharashtra? Uh, yeah, yeah, I will be challenging in Maharashtra court only. Why Akbaruddin only mm. targeted by these people? Because Akbaruddin, they are, they are scared of Akbaruddin Ovesi only. <laughs> that is why Akbaruddin Ovesi is targeted. Because they know that they cannot fight me. Uh, they cannot uh, fight with me through the way in which I speak, the way in which I, I portray and project the ingest which has been caused to the Muslim community and they do not have any answers to the question which I put across them and in the way uh, and the way in which I, I, I want my right to be given they do not have any answers to that that is why they are scared and they, they are unable to fight and they cannot fight me that is why they are stopping me if, if they can fight me do not stop me let me reach out to them and let the people decide if they think uh, I speak uh, bad or if they, if they think uh, because of my speeches uh, communal rights will happen, I would like to know, did any time my speech had a communal rights in the state of uh, the erstwhile Andhra Pradesh or now the Telangana state? Kya meri takhir ke baat kabhi koi fisad hua, koi gabad hui, koi khatal hua, nahi hua. Lekin yaan pe humare mulk mein aisa ho gaya hai, कि हम हमारे हक के लिए लड़ते हैं तो हमको रोका जाता है लेकिन जो हमको काटते हैं जो हमको लूटते हैं जो हमको तबाह करते हैं उनको तो कोई रोका नहीं जाता वो तो आगे बढ़ते जाते हैं और दूसरी तरफ जा रहे हैं आपके भाई आपके पार्टी के एमएम एमएम पार्टी के एमपी कल भी महाराष्ट्र गए थे उसको रोक दिया पुलिस हां वहां पर उनको भी रोके थे ना ना सिर्फ महाराष्ट्र बल्कि उत्तर प्रदेश में भी रोके मुजफ्फरनगर भी जाना चाह रहे थे वहां पर भी रोका गया दूसरे यूपी में भी आजमगढ़ जाना चाह रहे थे वहाँ पर भी रोका गया कर्नाटक जाना चाह रहे थे इससे पहले बीजेपी की गवर्नमेंट वहाँ पर भी रोकी फिर मैं गुलबरगा को गया था तो वहाँ पे गुलबरगा जाके वापस आया तो वहाँ पे भी तो रोका गया और कुछ हुआ नहीं लेकिन वहाँ पर हमनाबाद में भी ऐसे ही केसेस बुक कर दिए तो ये लोग मैं 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 ये पूछना चाहता हूँ जब जब इस मुल्क में हर एक को एहतियात है अपनी बात को रखने का बात करने का और जमुरी अंदाज में जिदोजहद करने का तो फिर आज हमको क्यों रोका जा रहा है इसीलिए कि आज उनको डर है कि अगर ये लोग जाएंगे तो मुसलमान इनके साथ जुड़ेंगे और एम एक नई फोर्स की तरह जिस तरीके से स्टेट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश में या फिर तेलंगाना में थी इसी तरीके से पूरे इंडिया में होगी तो इनको आवाज को रोकना इनका मकसद है so
Yeah, yeah, we are going. Uh, I'm going on 23rd. I have my program for Aurangabad and also for Bombay. So, Bombay is the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I'm going to go to Aurangabad and uh, my visit is going to be Bombay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,